It's all it's right all to right. be just, just a little bit crazy. Being, being creative, creative is being a little bit crazy in just, just the right vibration. vibration. With, that With that in mind, you should understand, should understand God's, God's completely God's insane. insane. <laughs>
The idea being, therefore, that cynicism dismisses any new ideas that may challenge the paradigm that exists within. Gullibility, for most of you, means being open to accepting just about anything without any kind of filtration system, without any kind of discernment. The idea, however, is to recognize a fascinating fact about the polar opposites of gullibility and cynicism. They are not polar opposites. They are different versions of the same thing. Gullibility also has cynicism within it. Cynicism also contains a great degree of gullibility. Allow us to explain. The fundamental similarity between gullibility and cynicism is the same issue. I believe what I believe and nothing will change that despite any evidence to the contrary. The gullible, in accepting everything without any kind of discernment, are actually saying the same thing. I have a belief system that I do not want to change no matter what. It's the same thing that the cynics say. I have a belief system I do not want to change no matter what. The gullibility inherent in cynicism is this. When a cynic often looks at the so-called evidence that may be brought before one, many times the cynic while thinking that they are actually investigating the true evidence, the true story, may simply be gullibly accepting the folk tale and using that and dismissing that as if they are dismissing true scientific evidence, when in fact all they're doing is saying the folk tale may not be actually representative of what's actually going on, and therefore because the folk tale is not true, the reality must also not exist. And so by saying that, by approaching it that way, the cynic has actually gullibly swallowed the general folk tale that has been put forth by individuals who may in fact be gullible. So in that sense, the gullible and the cynical have a connected relationship, a marriage of sorts, and they feed off each other, all pushing away from each other in that sense, leaving the idea of skepticism in the center. So all we are basically suggesting here is that you, in your investigation of anything that you may hear that seems unusual in your world, Allow yourselves to remain in the center, in balance, with your investigation as to whether or not it means something to you, whether or not it ought to be incorporated into your belief system structure, whether or not it really serves you in a positive, beneficial way. And allow yourself to maintain a sense of discernment as to what is and what is not appropriate for you. Now. Of course, we understand there are many different points of view, many different belief systems, and for each and every individual, whatever belief system they are holding to be true for themselves at any given moment is true for them at that moment, even if it seems contradictory to another. But the only reason we are discussing the issues of gullibility and cynicism in this context is because very often the idea of those who are gullible and accept everything and those who are cynical and accept nothing often attempt to push that point of view on others. So if you are going to have a particular point of view that you believe is contradictory to anyone else's point of view, by all means you are entitled to create that for yourself. But understand, you are not entitled to create that for anyone else.